Hello everyone, I am Josh and welcome to part 4 of Let's Build a Modern Mansion in The Sims 4. So last part we did this weird looking thing on the front and I know it's a bit con controversial, um, so, having a little bit of trouble pronouncing words apparently. Um, I know it's a bit controversial so I think I'm going to get rid of it because I'm not a gigantic fan either. Um, I think that it needs to be toned down a little bit. So, what I'm gonna do is get, oh, what the heck, okay, get, um, rid of this part. I just need to separate the wall, separate the room out, because otherwise it's gonna mess everything up. Oh, really? You're gonna leave the fence there? Oh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Um, oh, jeez. Hold on, this, this is gonna require some precision work here, because these little pieces of floating fence are, oh, this is annoying. Okay, hold on. We're getting there. Okay, can I just, like, not... Can you not delete everything else? Oh, okay, that was almost it. There we go. All right. And, okay, so I'm just not a huge fan of this. And why did it get rid of the rest of that? Okay. So I'm just not a big fan of the shape of it and the way it kind of protrudes out so much. So what I'm thinking of doing is just removing this bizarre abomination. And I think what I want to do is start some kind of angle... What? That's not what I wanted to do. Start kind of, in a, kind of an... Oh, that's just building right where that is. Well, you know what? I could I could just build out over this and have like a balcony of some sort. Or we could just like come across like that. You know what? That... Oh, but then down here that looks weird, doesn't it? Okay, we're not going to do that. We're just... I think... I don't know. Oh, I'm not holding down control. That would probably help if I was. Um, I think that... It might look okay if I just do the same thing on the upstairs as I did on the downstairs, and hopefully it's not too boring. Uh, you know, so, I don't know, because I don't want this to be dull. I want it to be inter- I kind of like- I mean, it's it's interesting. Let, let's go with this and see what happens. So, if I bring this across to- what the- oh, okay, hold on. I have to do it like this. So, I'm just getting a room out so I can have a balcony of some kind here, so- I think what I want to do is just bring it across, bring it to there, like that kind of shape. And preferably not have a little roof over it for some reason. Okay, let's get rid of this wall here, and this wall here, and this wall, and you get the idea. Okay, I think that looks pretty good actually. And, you know, we obviously will get a flooring on there, some kind of railing, and of course the upstairs area is not good. I'm actually really digging these overhangs that I'm doing. I don't know why, I just really like them, so... We'll see how this goes. So if I bring this out to, hold on, let's get the custom room tool. Like the only thing the custom room tool is useful for is this kind of stuff. That's what I feel like anyway. And you can't undo it, so if I start up, oh, no, come on. Come on, let's, let's do this properly, okay? Okay, there, wait, hold on, that's not what I, what the? This, this is surprisingly difficult. Oh, really? Okay, look, what I want, this is what I want you to do. Okay, well, I guess you're gonna have to be like this, aren't you? Um, so if it comes like this, and then, this is a bit awkward, isn't it? Oh, why am I, like, up here, too? Oh, dear. No. Okay, hold on. Let's do this properly. So if it comes, yeah, this is what I wanted to do. I don't know why that was so difficult for it to figure out. So if it does that, that could be interesting. And then, obviously, I'm going to have to build some kind of room here out of it, and then have to get rid of all the walls. So hopefully it's not going to leave this roof from... We'll get rid of the ceiling first. Hopefully it's not going to leave... Oh, no, I'll put the roof back. Um, so let's just get rid of all these walls. All of them. Um, no, I don't want to move the wall. I want to get rid of it. So I'm hoping that this new shape will be much more pleasing to the eye than the other one, which was a little weird. So, yeah, I think that's a bit better because it just makes... Whoa, that's a weird, isn't it? All the flooring is like, glitched out. Really? You're going to do that? All right, well, I... <laughs> Nothing I can really do about that. Um, you know, so I guess that doesn't look too bad. What I'm going to do, I'm going to fix the, um, this brick here, because it should be fixed. So, with this episode, what I really want to do is finish, finally finish the outside of the house. I mean, we did the floor plan last time, which was good progress, but I just want to finish the outside. What is, why is there no paint? What is, oh, that's the roof trim glitching through. Of course it is. Um... So I just kind of want to finish off the exterior at this point, and then, you know, then we can get working on the interior, which is pretty exciting. Also, something I want to do is 
this part I want to have an overhang as well. Now, one annoying thing that's going to happen here is it's probably going to glitch out the floor tiles again, because it likes to do that. Uh, so we're going to remove this wall, just go away, and this one, and this one, and this one. Just, I wish in The Sims 4 you could just drag out floor tiles, because that would just make this so much easier. You see, that's what it's going to do, of course. Oh, I almost knocked over the microphone. That was a close call. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, there you go. Now it's better. Uh, yeah. So, I like the overhanging roofs. Although, over here it's not overhanging, and that looks a little weird. I think what I'm going to do is... Oh, for some reason that wall got deleted. I don't know how that happened, but anyway, I'm going to do... Oh, I wish I had made something so I could... Okay, we're going to do it like this. So it's just going to be a little... Why is this, like, tool floating? Let's go down a bit. Okay, I can't. Okay, here we go. It's just really annoying when the tool is, like, floating in midair like that. All right, then let's get rid of these walls. And there we go. A little bit more of an overhang there. And that is all messed up, too. Yay. Oh, there we go. Oh, now it's all fixed. All right, so... Um, that looks good. And let me just grab this brick again, because for some reason there's pieces of it missing everywhere. All right, so... I think that this doesn't look too bad at this point. Um, I'm going to continue the half wall. Which half wall is, even is it? It's this one. I'm just going to make the half wall kind of like an edging, because I really like that. So can you just please just put it down? Okay. And we'll get the white trim, and we'll get the brick, and that looks all good. All right. So that just did something. Oh, no, it's good. All right. Um, yeah, so I like the look of that. That definitely looks nice. Now, this is obviously going to change the interior, um, but it's not a huge deal, so we'll just kind of get rid of this wall here. Now, the only slight issue, well, actually, so this is gonna, this was gonna be a bathroom. What we can do now with the bathroom is this, and bring it back a bit, so it comes back, and we can get rid of these extra walls. So actually, this kind of makes a bit more sense, and we have a bigger landing area. There you go. That makes more sense. Yeah, so we have the bathroom still there, and now it has access to windows, which is always a nice thing. And what I think I'm going to do is may possibly make this blue, just so we kind of have some more color going on in the front. Uh, I have to get kind of back in here, but yeah, I think that's okay. Or maybe should this area be blue? You know what I think I'm going to do is make this blue and this here, and then change the protruding part to something. Like, Spot A came with some interesting stuff, because I think Spot A came out after I started this. So I, maybe we should use something from Spot A. Like, that is interesting, that's for sure. Um, if we get that over there like that. Actually, this wood, this blue paneling is from Spot A anyway. Um, I think that looks pretty good. What other colors does this come in, actually? It comes in a darker color, and an even darker color, but I don't know if I want to use dark colors. It comes in that. comes in the same blue-ish. No, not really. Um, I kind of like that, though. I think that looks interesting. I mean, it definitely is different. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. And... As for this part here, um, I'm not so sure what I think, um, because I know I added these walls here last time, but I'm thinking of getting rid of them. Um, I don't know, it just kind of looks weird, doesn't it? Because um, <laughs> it's just, I don't know, we'll leave it like that for now, it's not that important, really. Let's get some windows in, and then, let's, then and then, why do I keep jumbling my words? I don't know. <laughs> let's get some windows in, and then let's start on the floor plan. So. I kind of like this window here, so I think I'm going to put it there, but not on the lower part, because that's kind of weird. Um, so, we should get some large windows, because I... Oh, those aren't going to fit, are they? Uh, those aren't going to fit either. We could get some... Um, these will fit, yeah. So we get, like, these up here, and, you know, they'll add some light in, at least, so it's not so dark. Um, I don't know, do I want these down here? Yeah, I think that actually that works, and I'll put some more down this side, and maybe should these be a different color? Like, what colors do they come in? They come in a blue that does not match, of course. No, I, I will just go with this. No, that's not the right color. We'll go with white. Um, and I'll also get another window. Should I get, like, that kind of window over the front? Yeah, that's interesting, because I don't want it just to be, like, all plain and boring. You know, it's kind of nice if there's a bit of um, interest. I don't know if that's the best word, but, you know, something different going on. And for down here... Not sure what I want to do. Um, I kind of wish there was a version of this window, but without the curve. But of course, there's not. 
So we could just use that, frankly. I mean, what, do you, what room even is that? That's the office room. So yeah, I guess that works pretty well. And this was going to... Oh, this is just like... That could be a window there, too. Um, there's no color on that at all, actually. Oh, hmm. Okay, what I'm going to do with this part is I'm going to make this the blue. And I also just noticed that my foundation is not done correctly. All right, no, I want to copy it. Um, so this will be the blue. And I'll overhang the roof over this part, too, because I like the look of that. So we'll make that blue. And perhaps I'll bring that... No, no, no. I'm going to make the part here, these parts here, blue as well. So, because that looks kind of interesting. And let's get the other side of those. So we'll just come around here. Uh, downstairs, I'm not sure what I want this to be. Because, like, upstairs it could be a balcony for the master bedroom, I guess. Like, there could be a door here. I can get that door right now, actually. Let's go downstairs and grab... Not that door. I want the glass one. There we go. So like if you have a door there, you know, it's kind of like a little balcony from the master. I guess you could have a, a little side thing here. I don't know. It makes no sense, though. I might just not put anything there. I don't know what I want to do yet. Although I do know that I want this room here, which actually I can do with the room tool, which is or whatever tool this is, if it would actually let me place it. Okay. Um, like, that, no, come on, really? It's like, I can place this, but then if I try to... Okay, we'll have to do it like this, even though this is, like, really bizarre and weird. Um, so if we get rid of these separate full, separate floors, the separate walls, and there you go. So I just want this to be overhang, too, because I like the look of it. So, you know, if we... I don't know. If I, well, I guess it's not too bad. Of course, there's a roof over the roof, so it helps to get rid of that. You know, I guess that looks okay. Um, what I want to do is... Do I want to use this... So I might carry this half wall all the way along, so let's get the half wall. And let's get the build tool, because the other tool is just frustrating. So if we do this, and then it just carries along like that, that could work pretty well. So let's just let's try that out. So the half wall will act as the trim here, and we'll go all the way around this part of the roof, just like that. Um, that looks pretty good. Let me get the white trim, of course, and we'll put that on here. And, yeah. Yeah, that looks good. So let me get the brick, of course. For some reason, it's like all little separate rooms. I don't know why. All right, we'll do this and that. That looks good. So I think I'm going to go with that. And as for this part here, I'm not really sure yet. Let's get some windows in, though. So obviously, I want some large windows looking out in the back because, you know, that. oh, that's not going to fit. Hold on. I need the smaller version. Where is the smaller version, anyway? Is it? Yeah. So, you know, we obviously want some large windows uh, looking out, so if you're in the bedroom, you can see out, um, get a nice view, even though the view isn't really that great, but it does the job. And we'll get the smaller one as well. There you go. Um, yeah, I think that's good, so you know, your sims can enjoy the view looking out. I also never fix the foundation there. Um, as for the living room, which is, white, which is right below, wow, I, for some reason I keep messing up all my words, it's quite sad. Um, for the living room, which is right below, we'll just do some nice large windows like that. Yeah, that works. And, you know, you get the beautiful view, the fireplace, the fireplace looks so small. But, um, yeah, so, oh dear. The only problem I have here is all these are separate rooms, which really drives me nuts. Um... So I can kind of fix this a little bit by doing that. But it's just so annoying the way the game, like, is incapable of sectioning off rooms properly. Oh, jeez. Like, this whole room is not, well, it's not really a room. And that just is, <laughs> this annoys me so much. And then when you use the wall tool on it, it's going to erase the wall pattern on the outside of the room. Which is really annoying. See, there it all went. And it redid the foundation, too. So we'll have to fix that. Um, but I guess it's not the end of the world, so I'll just put all this back. And I think that was stucco on this part here, which I don't... Where did I even use that? I used it over here. So we'll put that there, and I'll put the stucco here as well. Or it's really plaster, but I'm calling it stucco because it kind of looks like it. There we go. So now this is one room, which is nice. Um, and I'll do the same for this part here. This is all one room, too. Except it just doesn't extend into the living room area. Not the living room, the entrance is what I meant. Uh, so, like, if this 
can just not be, thank you for getting rid of the front door. If this could just not be so annoying, that would be really nice. Um, hold on, what I couldn't do, oh, this might work. If I, if I make, like, a custom room just in the front area, so like this, can you come across, please? And just like that. So this is its own room right here, and then I remove this wall, then it all becomes one room! Yay! That's so exciting. And I'll also get rid of this wall, too. And I think that wall was already there. Now, oh, I didn't even get rid of the wall cloud on the outside. Well, that's surprising. Anyway, now I'm happy because this is all one room. And that's one room, this is one room. It's all good and dandy. Upstairs, this is one room, this is one room. I just want to make sure that everything is, see, like, this is not a room. The master bedroom is split into two rooms, which is really odd. So I'm going to work on that. So let me just redo the walls here. So... The master bedroom is at least its own room, because that usually helps things out. There we go. So now the master bedroom's a room, master bathroom's not a room. That's a bit weird. Now it's a room. Oh, well, that's also kind of weird, too. This, I don't even know what room this is supposed to be. I guess it's supposed to be a bathroom of some sort. Anyway, it's a room now. That's a room, that's a room, that's a room, and that's, okay, good. Oh, this is not a room. Oh, wow, this is weird. Um, so, this is... Oh, if I just do that, that fixes the problem. Alright, now that's a room too. Good. So, oh wait, no it's not. This is... Wait, why is it like... Okay, whatever. Anyway, it all works now. It all works now, so... That's all that matters. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get some more windows. So we'll put some more windows over here. Let's see. Oh, these fit perfectly. Look at that. I didn't really like the windows I had before, so I think that these will work a bit better. And I'll get the ones that belong downstairs, because I use it over here. And there we go. So, nice big glass windows. They look into the dining area, and the overlooking balcony area, whatever. So, there you go. That looks okay. I'm going to grab the brick for that, and also uh, recolor this little piece that's not recolored. And I'll also get the same material. Fabulous. So, this is looking good. Um, I like the way this is going, that's for certain, and I think I want to start on some of the inside. I know the outside's not 100% finished, but I want to do, I, I do want to begin on the interior a bit. So, this area was supposed to be the kitchen, and this is supposed to be the dining room down in there. So I think that, hmm, because this outdoor area is a little complicated, um, <laughs> but I think what I want to do, I want to get some windows. So let me grab the... Mm -hmm. One of the square windows, square windows work well. So I'll put one here and one here. I th or maybe just three in a row. Because that would be an area in the kitchen. So let's get some cabinets. Uh, let's see. I, really, I like the ones that came with cool kitchen stuff, but how about the, these are the ones that came with outdoor, outdoor living? Not outdoor, but perfect patio stuff. Outdoor living, that was a Sims 3 pack. What am I talking about? There's no overhead cabinets that go with those though, so... That's annoying. So we're going to go with these, because I like them. Um, so, yeah. So I think I want to do is bring these across. I'll get an end piece. We'll also work on the colors in a moment. Uh, we'll get the outer corner end piece there. And bring these all the way across, and I'll get another end piece. Oh, I forget the different end piece, don't I? Wait, what? Why is the right end piece? Uh, oh. Oh, no, I can use the same piece. Okay, that's cool. Um, so yeah, we have that, and then on this wall, we're going to bring these across. I'm going to just, just lay out the cabinets for now, and then we'll get a little bit more in-depth. So I'm going to use end pieces there and there. So there's an end piece. I really like using the end pieces. I don't know why. It just, to me, looks a lot nicer. And we'll also get a inner corner piece, because we need one of those, like that. Uh, now, when it comes to locations of things... I think what I want to do is, mm, I want the sink to be here. I'll put the oven, I think, in the middle, so we'll have a refrigerator right there, surrounded by some larger cabinets. So let's get the fridge. I like this fridge, so we'll use it. And let me get the tall cabinets, so we can get these. I could put them, I'll put them on the floor, and then what we can do is get these small ones that can go over the top. Um, no, I'll get the normal-sized one, actually. What am I doing? I'll get this one, just like that. Um, and we'll also put it... Should I put it... Yeah, down here. 
Uh, do we have an end piece? We do. Uh, what? Why does that not go there? What do you... What? Hold on. It goes there, but... Oh, jeez. Okay, wait. This is an end piece, right? It doesn't look... It is an end piece, but it doesn't quite look... Uh, what is... This is an outer corner, so why can't I use the outer corner piece here? Is there a reason for that? Um, oh, I see why. Okay, we can't do that. So... I'll get an end piece there, I guess. There's nothing really else I can do. Or what I could do... No, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and we'll get this here, and I'll get an inner corner piece, because we're going to need one of those. And another end piece. Right end piece. We want one of those. Is that even the right end? Yeah, I guess that's the end piece. And the inner corner, which is... No, come on. Get in the, in, get in the corner. Come on. Stop. Oh, my goodness. You're not going to do this right now, are you? Just go in the corner. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Stop being annoying. Okay. Put move objects on because Mr. Cabinet here is not cooperating. Hold on, move objects. There you go. Alright, just go in the... Oh, come on. Please don't... Okay, hold on. Let's just... Okay. <laughs> this is frustrating. Okay, come on. Please just cooperate for once. No, what are you doing? Go th there. Th oh, we had it for a sec. No, what are you doing? Why is this so difficult? You stupid staircase, get out of there. And then you just go in the corner. What? Come on. Move. What? Why is this so hard? Okay, I've never had more difficulty placing a cabinet than right now. Okay, it's... Wow, it is just disobeying everything I'm trying to do here. Come on. It's like refusing to go in the one direction I wanted to. Alright, so that cabinet was really annoying me, so I just ended up cutting and got the cabinet fixed. So after I fixed the cabinet, I just put in an island and some flooring and I recolored the cabinets. And that's pretty much it. So you can see the kitchen here. And yeah, so there you go. Um, the cabinet was just driving me insane. And yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this episode. We got the kitchen, you know, close to a point of finished. That's a weird way to say it. What am I talking about? We got the kitchen almost done. We just need to do some decorations and obviously some wall paint and some better lighting. But overall in this episode, we did the kitchen. Most of it you didn't see. Sorry about that, but had a slight issue. But did most of the kitchen, and we redid the front. As you can see, it looks much better now. And if you have any feedback on the kitchen or the front of the house, please let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.